I was very, very close to death, and I was only 19 years old. I had to get up early that day and went to this work conference. I sat down next to my friend Charlie. All of a sudden, I got this massive headache. It felt like it was like a big hand had reached into my head and started kneading my brain. It was a pain that I could hardly put words to. I turned to Charlie and I said, my head really hurts. But what came out was slurred. It was like, man, it really hurts. Then I guess my eyes started rolling to the back of my head. They were very alarmed, naturally, and so they called an ambulance. After that, I lost consciousness. Her story came by telephone that there was a patient with a hemorrhage. She was in a coma because of the pressure and the, the hemorrhaging in her brain. They decided to helicopter me up to the University of Chicago Medical Center. And so I was helicoptered over here, I think, in seven minutes. During the transport, you know, there's constant communication so that we know what kind of things to get ready. So when the patient arrives here, the, everything is set to minimize the time to, you know, get the maximal treatment. According to my doctor, it was bad enough so that they had to operate right away. From the time that the helicopter landed to when the craniotomy was performed was a very short period of time. It was basically enough time to stabilize her in the intensive care. So once we decided that she needed an operation, she was wheeled up. So we removed the bone, relieved the pressure of her brain, and at that point, the emergency was over. It's extremely impressive that um, an entire team of people who help in an emergency craniotomy could have done it like that. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Arteriovenous malformation, the vessels that take the blood to the brain and the veins that take the blood away from the brain kind of go right into each other and make a tangle of blood vessels. One of the blood vessels can burst and it causes a hemorrhage. Prior to my second surgery, I was extremely, extremely worried. Dr. Yamini was very much there for me and my family while we were so anxious about this uh, second operation. You know, I, I basically saw a young, a, a young woman with her whole life ahead of her and suddenly out of the blue one day at, at class having a, a devastating event. Now to recover to where she is, it's all rehab, her family, and you know, having a good relationship like that. I mean, that, that's very important. One of the problems with AVMs and the hemorrhaging in the brain that is that it irritates the brain, the brain that's, that's not damaged, and that irritated brain can cause seizures. After I was discharged, I started having seizures. Dr. Yamini felt that I needed um, to have a neurologist as well. I started uh, seeing uh, Pamela in my clinic approximately six months after she suffered a hemorrhagic stroke. The plan was to control the symptoms, um, at the same time reduce the amount of medication she takes in a very gradual way and hopefully not to provoke her symptoms. Being a, a college student, you know, she is pursuing a career. I think it's really important um, to um, give her the opportunity uh, to achieve her life goal. I think it's, it's really important to incorporate that goal into the treatment plan. Her prognosis up to this point is, you know, has been, you know, great. Is you know, over my expectation. Uh, the, the fact that she has been able to achieve most of the career goal, like graduate from the college. She's one of the few who are very lucky to, you know, to be where she is now. I think she will continue to improve um, uh, with her positive uh, attitude. We stay in touch. I know when she's traveling all over Europe and she's uh, setting up a website. She emails me and. Uh, she emails very long paragraphs and I email a few words. <laughs> the most important part of any kind of recovery from anything is your mental state and your emotions and everything like that. And that is really taken care of while you're here. A lot of people will sort of get down and they'll stay down. Um, you have to always keep a positive attitude and always keep going. <laughs>